Duke, it's almost time for Junkyard Jeep. Come on, come on. Another adventure of breaking parts and getting stuck. Hmm? And doing repairs the wrong way, right? Do you agree or do you disagree? Is that a yes or is that a no? Oh, he definitely approves. Huh. All right, well then, let's get started. On this episode of Junkyard Jeep, we pet goats all day and just sit here. Okay, we don't do that. What we do do is we show you how to get to the Charlotte Gap Trail from the Oracle site. And we show you all the good obstacles up to the elevator shaft. And we look at the elevator shaft up close and personal. How hard is it? How steep is it? Should you run it in a bone stock vehicle? Well, you'll find out today at Junkyard Jeep. other circle K. <laughs> wow, College Drive is right up here. And right in front of the church. And we cruise this way. It's been a while, so you take your first left, so you're going right on College, which would be what? West? You're going to take Maplewood? And then your immediate right, Estel. Take immediate right on Estel, and this goes right to Charlotte Gap Road. <laughs> trailhead isn't that awesome uh, so we're at the very beginning of the Oracle side I'm in third right now yeah um, probably just gonna try and just film the hard obstacles and not so much driving on dirt like I'm doing right now <laughs> uh, but when there's a hard obstacle you'll see it I just kind of want to show you guys all the awesomeness of the Oracle side like all this is kind of boring right now it gets hard like pretty quick so we'll see you when we get there all right so almost right away you will come across 736 and a sweet sign that the Rough Riders made if you go to 4487 I have no idea where that goes I don't know if it goes to a campsite or just some other random road if anyone knows where 4487 goes let me know but that's not the way that's not the gap that's just some offshoot so we're gonna keep trucking this way 
So this was the first hard obstacle, but you can see they filled they filled it in with dirt. This used to be really nasty. Um, I believe that's a bypass right there, but yeah, this used to be the, a really hard obstacle, but they, uh, I think the Rough Riders filled it in with some sand, and now it's super easy. This was really hard before. I have some footage of uh, when I had my green Jeep, my green CJ5, I came up this. It was really bad. As you can see here, it was way ruddier and way harder way back in 2019. They totally smoothed it out. No, I think the fire department actually came in and filled it all in to help fight all the fires that were in the gap. All right, well, no reason to film this. Well, I guess we could, um, I could fast forward into the view, yeah. put the music right here. Look at that. What a beautiful little town, man. I swear, when I get old, I'm gonna retire here. It's such a gorgeous little town. Okay, so this is not the trail. This is the obstacle challenge. There's a lot of these at the gap. Over here is the mile marker for the trail. And uh, this is um, an obstacle. So there's 736 there. And we got this huge, massive hill. I, I could climb it. I want to get to the stair stepper and the elevator shaft. I'm on limited time, and if I do that, that's going to be a half hour out of my way. I want to go run the two main obstacles of this trail because I haven't done them in at least two decades. So, next time, when I have more time, we'll come blast up that. Maybe we'll even do it in the hot rod willies. see the tracks they totally so far it's been a two-wheel drive flat road they really got all the ruts everything filled in first very nasty obstacles down there there's the bypass to your left to your right is a very nasty shaley loose rock kind of hill climb we'll see you down there um we're gonna try and get multiple angles on that one that's the first nasty hardcore obstacle as of right now since they've graded it 20 minutes in. Let's do it. Really loose, shaley, steep goodness. I might shift a second. This is kind of too slow. Oh, we're doing all right. <laughs> that was awesome. Not over yet. Wow, that is loose. <laughs> that was awesome. I thought we weren't going to see it. the elevator shaft. Finally! Oh, dude, we we're going to get our cameras set up. And look at the summit way up there. Oh, man. Dude, it was all nothing, nothing, and then boom, elevator shaft in your face. Dude! Whew. All right, so we're at the very bottom of the elevator shaft. It's not so bad so far. It's super slippery, though. I can't even hardly stand up. up up there. That's right where the cliff is. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa.
Look at that, that's coming out. That'll be rowdy. That'll be a hoop. Oh my goodness. That's pretty bad. You just keep, you cut, cut through here, and cut left at the piece of cake. And that's rocky, but you'll get good traction on that. I'll oh, see. Dude, it just gets worse. Let's go have a look. If I can make it. Dude. Taking down's not gonna be fun. Oh god. I haven't seen this since I had my little white CJ5 in the late 90s. Might have a tendency to slide. We just stay away from that and we'll stay to the left. I think this is uh, more slippery than over here because at least I got some jagged rocks over here. That's pretty slick right there. Oh, good God. Look at that, that's slick. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my God, dude, this is insane. It's going to be worse going down. This is awesome. Oh, good Lord. Keep my hand on the lever just in case. Okay. But, oh my God. We're gonna teeter totter just a little. top of the elevator shaft here. Look, there's one going that way, one going that way. Where the heck do, do all these roads go? This is madness. Where would you end up? Sholo? Mammoth? Vegas? Where the heck does all this go? Dude, that's way out there. Where does that go? Man. Anyway, so uh, we were going up the hill. The motor kept cutting out really, really bad. Still made it no problem, but 
That would have been bad if I stalled on that nasty hill. I'm noticing here that the, uh, this choke lever is just loose. I think when we were bouncing up and down on the hill, this was just killing the engine. Engine alive, engine dead, engine alive. We're gonna take a screwdriver, we're gonna crank this and tighten the heck out of it. Is it loose maybe? Not loose, but we need to crank it more, get the coil tighter. And, uh, and if that doesn't work, dude, I'll just take the screws out and pull this whole shaft out. Either way, um, that'll fix that. I knew there could have been anything wrong with this quadrajet, dude. This is an awesome carburetor. All right. So the wind was so bad <clears throat> on the summit of this elevator shaft. Couldn't even hear the audio, no matter what I did in the editing. So we just basically tightened the coil choke a whole bunch to where it just stayed open forever. Now that we got that fixed, this thing should run perfect so we can get the heck out of here and back home. Alright guys, well, Bubba ran awesome, everything good in the, in the gauge department, um, thing ran awesome, we ran the elevator shaft no problem even though our stupid uh, choke kept fluttering, we fixed that, man what a blast, what an absolute riot that, uh, oh dude, I wish there was a road that just went straight to the elevator shaft quickly, just run it all day long. Um, we're gonna go to Circle K, get coffee, get air in the tires. Um, there's supposedly a goat farm out here. We're gonna see if we can find that. We, we got out of the trail early, so let's go see if we can find some goats. You know me, I'm always down for playing with goats. Um, and get some coffee. I'm kind of hungry, maybe we'll get some food. And, uh, we'll see you at Circle K. Well, Lavender Farm is closed, so, uh, what now? Circle K, snacks and gas and coffee. The next highlight of our day here. I wanted to pet some goats. Well, I'll go home and pet my own goats. How about that? And I could go to the goat farm and pet even more goats. So let's do that. Well, out of order on the air on the R. So I get to sit here for an hour with my portable air compressor. And air up tires till I'm old. Still getting coffee. Well, the whole gang is here minus the cats. Even the neighbors are here. So, uh, what an awesome trip we had. We got to climb the elevator shaft. We got to almost stall on the ele elevator shaft and go crashing down because of the carburetor choke. We got to get coffee from Circle K, that's always a plus. We got to see how the trails changed since the fire department came through there. Um, what a blast, only 20 minutes in and you get the elevator shaft, so that's awesome. I wanna go back and see how much further the, the stair stepper is from the main Oracle gate. What an awesome town Oracle is, man. Oh, so much reminds me of Bisbee, Arizona and, uh, and um, on top of Mount Lemmon. Summer Haven. Hi huh, guys. And uh, I think the next episode of Junkyard Jeep, we're gonna try and take the hot rod wheelies off road. That's the next goal. It's so not an off road vehicle, but hey, that's why you take it off road. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next episode of Goat Yard Jeep. Come on, guys. Huh? Are you going to stick around for the next one? That's Duke being rowdy. <laughs> That's why the fence is here. Yeah, why don't you guys sit over here by Dad? There you go. There you go. All right, guys.